so how many of you have all five models i'm like five parts commercial plane five parts we have completed okay so please uh, make a separate folder call that one as uh, model 2 or commercial plane the folder name mention in that way and in that folder keep your all vsp files okay all five parts that is your uh, fuselage main wing horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer and duct or engine component okay so quickly we'll do the assembly then we'll go for the next uh, component okay just to moment let me share my screen So, Bhuneshwar sir, shall we continue? Yes, sir. You can continue. Okay. So, dear students, welcome to all of you. Welcome to our wings of hero. And we know that yesterday we were uh, doing the assembly of all these uh, five parts. So, all of you, please uh, copy your uh, folder. Okay. I mean, like. this directory copy this directory go to open vsp open your open vsp software go to file okay and go to open paste this directory control v enter so here we have all this five parts okay now we have to call each and every part quickly we'll show assembly after assembly we'll go for helicopter model okay so here we have to go to file go to insert select part 1 except similarly insert part 2 except part 3 except part 4 and last part 5 except okay so we have added all the five parts now we will fix our fuselage okay with respect to this fuselage we will assemble all other components that is main wing horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer also the engine component okay 
okay yes so we have fixed our face latch just select the wing this is our main wing use views actually this engine component uh, number of test lessons is more that's why sometimes it will give problem we just reduce this number of test lessons to 20 and 30 okay Just arrange this tab correctly. Yeah. So we will move our wing along X. Sorry, we have to select the wing, main wing. So yesterday we have done no? what we have to do. We have to slide this main wing. It's a 45 feet okay from this point so we have to fix like this So go with minus 2.5. Okay. Yes. So we have fixed our wing. Now next, you have to select horizontal stabilizer. You have to take this horizontal stabilizer. Okay. From this point to this point, which means we have to translate this horizontal stabilizer forward. So from this point to the point where horizontal stabilizer located, that distance is 108 feet. Okay. 108 feet away from this point. Okay. From this point to the point where horizontal stabilizer located, the X location length is 108 feet. And along Z also we have to translate, we have to fix in this manner. Okay, yes. So we have to fix along Z. 5.5 feet. Okay. So this is the reference point of our fuse latch, 0, 0. Okay. From this point to this point, the length, Z location length is 5.5 feet. Okay. Yes. So we have fixed our horizontal stabilizer now select vertical stabilizer it is somewhere here so we have to translate this and you have to fix here just perpendicular to the horizontal stabilizer okay so we have to fix our vertical stabilizer perpendicular to the horizontal stabilizer so vertical stabilizer so in this vertical stabilizer, it is located at a distance of 93.5 feet from this point, okay, along X location. So 93.5 enter. Okay, so it came here. 
now it is completely parallel to the horizontal stabilizer okay this vertical stabilizer is completely parallel to the horizontal stabilizer so we have to rotate that vertical stabilizer okay completely 90 degree we have to rotate yes okay so we have done with vertical stabilizer vertical stabilizer also fixed okay only the thing is that we have to translate this along z axis we will use two vertical window view side view okay let's take this view okay yeah so select that vertical stabilizer and just translate along z location okay and fix here Six point five feet. Okay. Yes, this is done. So we have done with our vertical stabilizer. Now select engine component, and this engine component. We have to translate this one and we have to place just below this main wing. So we will use one window and we will use four window and let's select top view. This is our top view and I will click on this window. Here I will take front view. Okay. And I will click on this window and I will also take left view. Okay. And this one I will keep in a ISO view. Okay. Now I will just translate this one. Okay. We will just type 15. Okay and okay so it's just going below the wing right and we have to use z axis okay we should not take this component upside instead of that we have to take downside downside in this is go back along z location like this and also translate along y from this point to the point where engine located the center point distance 25 feet okay along y plus 25 we'll round up to 25 Okay, yes. Okay. okay. This one is round off to minus three. Yeah. Okay, so this one is fixed. Now let's change the view. Okay, no need to change here. We will observe clearly. Okay. Now we can use symmetry of this. Okay, that's it.
or else you can copy and paste one window so we have done with our assembly part just share this one okay we will select all the components select all and share here we have our top view front view left view okay and here we have all the views okay so we'll save our model go to file use save as option and just type assembled part or assembly commercial plane or just call model 2 enter or use this option accept option okay yeah okay if you want to change the material for each and every component just select instead of this default you can add any color or any material okay so now i just use default uh, colors what we have here okay we'll select this one black rubber type okay like this you can select each and every component and you can change the material okay i just shown you that uh, you can select any component you can change the material for all the components if you want to keep the same material just select all go to general and use any of uh, one of this that's it otherwise use default that's it so currently let it be the default uh, just go to file and save Then. okay yeah so now before i go to the helicopter model uh, if you have any questions you can go ahead with that how many of you have done assembly along with me update on a chat window okay krutika she has done have you saved your file krutika so you have to send this file okay all of you you have to send this file if you have done not now after the class or after uh, some days okay take maximum two days if you are still not done okay very good krutika dikshita soumya aishwarya okay okay good yeah so if you have if you people have done in the sense uh, there is no any doubt in this now apart from uh, the students those who have done apart from those students if uh, other students if you want to ask anything related to the assembly or related to the components of this uh, aircraft that may be main wing fuselage horizontal stabilizer or vertical stabilizer if you have any questions or if you have any doubt or if you want to clarify anything you can please uh, and mute this mic or use chat window i'll give two minutes time then we'll go for a helicopter model
okay so there is no any doubt okay then shall i continue just type yes shall i continue i hope there is no any doubt okay kritika is telling yes dikshita yes lakshmi shetty yes okay 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 yeah then okay then we, i'll just assume that uh, there is no any doubt and everything is going smoothly okay so now we have to understand about the helicopter okay i mean like uh, how to design a helicopter kind of uh, models by using our open usp software see initially what we have done we have done with uh, basic thing okay so after understanding the basic fundamentals of our open usp software we have design cessna model after the cessna commercial plane and now helicopter okay so the motto of showing all this different different model it's very simple that you should know and you should understand how to proceed with open usp software to deal with this kind of different different aircrafts okay that may be helicopter okay or that aircraft may be commercial plane or that aircraft may be a small jet plane like cessna okay so you must know uh, how to deal with uh, the software and how to use all these options what we have in our open usp okay so once you understand about each and every options what we have in our open usp software about each and every tab okay their functions and how to use each and every component some particular processor in build components okay and with respect to that in build component okay that may be fuse large wing with respect to that we will be getting parameter window so how to alter the parameter window so that we can uh, easily create our required model okay that is the motto of showing all our designing all this model now we will uh, go for a helicopter so here we will go with uh, this aircraft uh, this aircraft okay that is as355n swin squirrel helicopter here we have totally nine parts part 1 is fuselage part 2 top fuselage why we are calling this as top fuselage because here this complete fuselage okay this complete fuselage what we have this kind of fuse large we have to design in our open usp so that's why uh, what we have to do in our open usp software we have to separately design okay this one and after that this one okay so that's why we have to call this fuse large as a main fuse large and this one the top side what we have the fuselage that one we will call top fuselage okay or second fuselage so after uh, completing this first and second fuselage that may be uh, like our main fuselage what we are calling now and top fuselage then we will assemble and we will uh, uh, show like this what we have this shape okay so it's a star of case like this okay this one so part 1 is our 
main fuselage part 2 top fuselage part 3 tail fin tail portion we have 1 2 and 3 parts okay so we'll call each and every part separately okay so part 3 that is our tail fin part 4 tail fin 2 here this is our first tail this is our second tail okay so for this one we will call tail fin 1 and for this one tail fin 2 okay that is our part 3 tail fin 1 part 4 tail fin 2 and part 5 tail plane tail plane in the sense this one let me copy This one what we have and after that part six rotor back main and tail part seven main propeller this is our main propeller part eight tail propeller this one and part nine landing skid landing skid in a sense this Standing skates. Okay. So, complete aircraft has been split into nine major parts. Okay. Now, we will go with each and every part. I am like in our open MSP, we will design each and every part. At the end, we will assemble and we will show the end part. I am like uh, assemble part at the end. So here we have all the geometrical parameters of this uh, helicopter AS355 where we have the front view, top view and side view with dimensions okay in terms of feet and also in terms of meter. So here we have part 1 fuse large all of you please note down all this thing fuse large total length 10.93 meter so to achieve this shape just let me go to the slide okay So we have to achieve this kind of shape, okay. That is our main fuselage, okay. And we are calling that main fuselage as a part one. So overall length has been given. 10.93 meter okay and let me take uh, okay we will take this view okay now it's clear see from here to here So, yeah, approximately uh, five to six cross sections in now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So, that's why uh, here uh, I have mentioned all uh, cross sections. Okay. One, two, three, four, five cross sections. Each and every cross section of this first part that is main fuselage 
first cross section it is located at a distance of 0 0.2043 meter away from nose point second cross section 1.25 meter third cross section 5.06 meter okay and fourth one 9.3 fifth one also just near to that but we have to close the geometry that's it that's why the type of cross section is pointed type of cross section okay first type of cross section we have to select uh, elliptical type of cross sections and we have to give parameters height and width okay so we'll do that so come to open vst go to file new i hope everything is going smoothly any confusion any doubt uh, anything you want to ask shall i continue Go to file. Okay. So we have already saved now. Okay, yeah. Let me change the directory. So we have okay. So I will just create new folder. This is our model three. Open this one, copy this directory, go to file, open, and paste here. Control V, enter. Okay, yeah. So now go to geometrical browser, select Fuge Large, and add. We know overall length 10.93 meter. Okay. Overall length of this fuse is 10.93 meter. Okay. From here to here. Okay. Overall length is 10.93 meter. So we will give the design parameter overall length. 10.93 enter okay yeah so now after this we have to come to the cross section On default we have four number of cross sections each and every cross section okay except uh, first one that is uh, zeroth one and fourth one all other cross sections what we have that is third second and first okay all these cross sections uh, currently the default type of cross section we have ellipse type of cross section okay and having the same height and width so we will change this one so before changing on this uh, uh, cross sections. Uh, let's uh, insert one more cross section. I'll come to second cross section. Okay, between the sec first and second, I'll just uh, insert one more cross section. Just click on insert. Okay, so this uh, new cross section has been added between the second and third cross section. Okay. So currently we have now totally one, two, three, four, five number of cross sections. Okay. So we'll come to our fuse large design parameter. So zeroth cross section length zero meter and the type of cross section pointer type of cross section. So now currently we are on the zeroth cross section, a starting point, and the type of cross section, pointer type of cross section. Let's jump to first cross section. So jump to first cross section. The type of cross section we have to choose ellipse type of cross section. 
okay it's already ellipse type of cross section the only thing is that you have to change the height and width height 0.55 meter and width 1.03 meter Enter with one point zero three. One point zero three. Enter. Okay, yes. Now just jump to second cross section. Okay, the type of cross section, general fuselage type of cross section. Okay, so here we have second cross section, and the type of cross section we have to choose the general fuselage type of cross section. Why, sir? Why general uh, fuselage type of? Why not uh, ellipse? Because so far you have selected ellipse for commercial plane. Because shape for that case it was like ellipse, and here for this case. Uh, the shape of our fuse that's okay if we take the cross sections of this then it's not not like a ellipse right uh, we have to give uh, the shape in this manner okay like this so we can achieve this kind of uh, cross section uh, with the help of the type of cross section that is general fuse type of cross section Okay, so uh, yeah, first what we'll do, we'll just uh, locate each and every cross section. Okay, then we will uh, uh, change their parameters, cross section parameter. Okay, so zeroth cross section is done. First cross section it is located at a distance of zero point two zero four feet meter away. Okay, so I'll just come back to this first cross section. This first cross section it is located at a distance of zero point two zero four three meter away. So we'll just type zero point two zero four. Okay, we'll just round up to zero point two zero four meter. Okay, enter. Done. Okay. Now we'll just jump to second cross section. Second cross section it is located at a distance of one point two five meter away. Second cross section, it is located at a distance of 1.25. Enter. You can ask, sir, why you are uh, directly given uh, this value only? Okay. Because, see, uh, already this model has been done. No? So, uh, and uh, it's already completed. Okay. And uh, based on that experience uh, we know okay where uh, we have to locate okay our cross sections so that we will get that shape required shape so it's all about the experience and how much agile you are with your software okay so that's why uh, keep working on the software you will uh, understand about each and every uh, parameters and each and every options in our open USB what we have so that it will be easy for you to deal with your any type of aircraft uh, model okay that may be your helicopter commercial plane or uh, fighter jets okay so easily you'll get the uh, idea and based on your idea based on your input okay based on your uh, creativity thinking okay you can complete your required model okay Yes, so that's why we call uh, this uh, software as a conceptual sketch software because this software is very much useful for our conceptual sketch. Before going to real uh, model, you know, okay, we can uh, design a conceptual sketch. Okay, yes, 
that's the use of uh, this open usp for aeronautical engineers okay so now what we'll do we'll just uh, locate our second cross section second cross section is done now yes okay yeah now we'll jump to third cross section so this third cross section it is located at a distance of 5.06 meter away third cross section it is located at a distance of 5.03 meter away enter sorry it is 5.06 okay and fourth cross section it is located at a distance of 10.93 so 10.93 meter enter okay so fourth is also done now we will jump to fifth of course uh, we have given overall length so that's why the last end point it ensures that that is your overall length okay 10.93 meter and we have to close this so that's why the type of cross section we have to choose pointed type of cross section okay to show that the geometry is closed if you choose a select circle and if you get do some diameter then geometry will be open geometry. So we have to close the geometry. So that's why just select the pointed type of cross section. Okay, now we will come to each and every cross section. So first cross section, uh, the type of cross section we have chosen, ellipse type of cross section. Okay, and we also given the height and width. Now we will jump to second cross section. Second cross section, the type of cross section we have to choose general fuselage type of cross section. Okay. Okay, we have chosen the general fuselage type of cross section. Let's uh, have a preview. Now, uh, you can ask sir why you have not mentioned uh, the parameters. Okay. So, just you have to uh, think in a creative way and you have to alter all this parameter in such a manner that uh, you should uh, get this kind of cross sections here okay like this so we'll just maintain a height of the second cross section so we'll go with the height of one point eight meter okay and width Okay, we'll go with same 1.8. Now, uh, we will just uh, change the top structure and bottom structures, okay? Let it be this much. Similarly, bottom structure. So it's like this, okay. So little bit will reduce, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let it be 
and lower structure also we'll just it will change this one yes yeah okay let it be now okay now we will just jump to third cross section okay so here uh, third cross section we'll choose ellipse type of cross section Sir, why ellipse type? Why not uh, general phases? Because previously I selected general phases, right? Why? Because here, okay. Uh, after this, okay. After this portion, the next portion what we have can observe the clear three uh, D view of this uh, helicopter. Okay. This 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 portion is like elliptical type of. Uh, cross section so that's why uh, we will choose ellipse type of cross section and we will uh, enlarge the cross section size okay so previously it was uh, 1.8 and 1.8 that was the height and width of second cross section so of course we have to increase now okay we have to increase the next cross section size why because See, let me copy this one. Oh, already we have here. Okay, yeah. So the first cross section size it was very small. Now we are dealing with second cross section. So of course, okay, if we take the cross section, uh, okay, the second cross section, yeah, and uh, by looking into that figure, easily we can predict that the, the shape, uh, overall shape of this cross section, it's uh, large as compared to the previous cross section. Okay, so that's why we have to just enlarge. I mean, like we have to increase the third cross section parameters that is height and width. Let me change the view. I just picked on screen. Okay. This one so I'll pick on screen. Okay. Yeah, now it will be very easy to complete this model okay yeah so okay We have located this third cross section the distance of 5.06 feet away. Uh, sorry, 06, 5.06 meter away from this point. Okay, so the type of cross section already it is mentioned. Uh, ellipse type of cross section height 0.8147 and width 0.855 meter. Okay. Zero point eight one four meter and width zero point eight five meter enter. Okay. And next fourth cross section. This fourth cross section type of cross section, circle type of cross section. Okay, so we have to use uh, 
the parameter that is diameter or radius so here i have mentioned diameter 0.1 meter away okay type of cross section we have to select uh, circle type of cross section and we have to give dia 0.1 meter next uh, the type of cross section circle type of cross section dia 0.1 meter enter And this one you have to close. Okay. Yes. Mm, you just change the window. Oh, sorry, I told that uh, we have to increase this one. Okay, you just are just uh, okay, there is something wrong here. Okay, let me just adjust manually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have to use scanning option also. So we'll come to first cross section. Let me just verify each and every parameter. Okay. Mm, yeah. Second cross section is also done. Okay. So we we'll just translate this one along Z. Similarly, we'll do for first cross section. Mm, zero this turn, no? Okay. Let me get this one zero itself. We'll jump to first cross section and we'll translate along Z just a little bit. Simply it will disturb, okay. Uh, so um, let it be zero only. We'll just translate this one second cross section, okay. cross section
it's the main part phases part of course it will take time okay so we'll just uh, deal with this we need to worry Mm, okay. Let's just go with the zero point two five. Okay, we'll change this one. We'll just try the previous values. Next, we will do fourth cross section. Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, in the uh, in data, it is fourth cross section is circle, no, sir. Which one? In data, fourth. they have given the fourth cross section is circle, and the diameter is point one. Zero point one for cross section. Let me yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Circle. Okay. Zero point one. It will be correct, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So we have not uh, given this one, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you for updating this one. Fifth cross section. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Very good. So we have. That is what I was just checking. Okay, second then, third also done, fourth also. Okay, and this is fifth one. Okay. So the thing is that now we have to just alter along uh, the Z locations. Okay. Okay. We will come to each and every cross section. We will just complete this first part, okay? Then we will go for the uh, next part, okay? I mean, like, tomorrow we will deal with the next part. We will just complete it. We will take just three minutes. That's it. First cross section, okay? Let me once again check this one. First cross section. Height, mm, width, okay? Okay. Second cross section also. Okay, we have just given that shape. Okay, it's too much. Three is too much. We'll just uh, go with. Okay, yeah. So we'll go with zero point three meter. Okay. Yes. And. Now we will jump to third cross section. Okay, it's 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 perfect. So we'll just okay. Let it be fourth cross section. Okay, we'll just change this one along Z. Okay, we'll round off to zero point six meter. And last one, fifth one. This one also same zero point six meter. Yes. Okay. So we have done with our main page batch. So just go to file and save this one. Next tomorrow we will go with the top page batch. So after assembling main page batch and top page batch, your model will look like this. Okay. Today, what we have done? We have done only this portion. This portion. Let me change the color so that it will be visible clearly. So we have done with this portion. Okay. And that is what we have here. Top view, front view. And left view. Okay, this one. Let's 
section right yeah so if you want to change the cross section uh, i mean like if you want to alter you can alter no worry with that okay we'll just go to file we'll save this one you save as option and call this one as part one Main fuse patch. Accept. Okay, then uh, I will stop our session. Uh, okay, I will go for question and answer session. Uh, anybody want to ask anything? Any doubt? So far, whatever we have done. Let me check. Any message in the chat window? Okay. Sir, this looks like uh... <laughs> Lady Seals. Okay. That's that's your view. But it, it is our uh, fuse latch, top fuse, uh, main fuse latch. Okay. Mir Minhalali. I hope I have cleared your doubt. This is our main trace latch. Yes, and any other questions? Just type no questions or no doubt so that uh, we'll end the session. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay, students. Uh, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. I am not telling anything mere minimal away. That was just part of joke. Okay, yeah. So we'll just stop our session. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay, thank you, all of you.